analyse the accounts receivables in three minutes. So what exactly is accounts receivable? It is an amount that a company has a right to receive because it has provided or will provide customers with products or services. But why is it important that we analyse accounts receivable? It is important so that any investor, creditor or manager of a company can observe how well they manage its accounts receivables. The main question that should be asked of a company is how well it collects its receivables. Now we will run through different methods to analyse accounts receivable. First we have horizontal analysis which is the comparison of historical financial information over a series of reporting periods. To do this, you minus the prior year balance from the current year balance and then divide that by the prior year balance. Let's use McDonald's. Here we see their accounts receivable balances as of June 30, 2016 and 2015. Substitute these amounts into the formula at equals 0.09. By conducting horizontal analysis, we see that McDonald's receivables balance increased by 9% in 2016. Next, we have vertical analysis, which restates the accounts receivable balance as a percentage of total assets. The formula for this is accounts balance divided by total assets. When we divide McDonald's 2016 accounts receivable balance by the total assets of $33,146 million, we get 0.04. By conducting vertical analysis, we see that their accounts receivable balance only makes up 4% of the company's total assets. Now to ratios. The receivables turnover ratio compares a company's credit sales during a period to its average receivables balance. In other words, it indicates how many times during a period a company generates and collects its receivables. The higher the ratio, the faster the company turns over its receivables. To calculate this, we divide credit sales by average receivables. For example, for the year ending December 2016, Educare had the following figures on their financial statements. Substitute these figures into the formula and we see that Educare turns over its receivables approximately 12 times each period. The receivables turnover ratio is sometimes difficult to interpret, so it is often converted to days and receivables ratio which expresses in days how long it takes a company to generate and collect its receivables. The formula for this is 365 divided by the receivables turnover ratio. Therefore, Educare's days and receivable ratio is 31.04 which means it takes the company approximately 31 days between selling an item and collecting the receivable. Lastly, the allowance ratio is used to compare the allowance account to gross accounts receivable. This determines the percentage of receivables that are expected to be uncollectible in the future. To calculate the allowance ratio, we divide the allowance for doubtful debts by gross receivables. For instance, for the year ending December 2016, Educare had the following figures on their financial statements. Substitute these figures into the formula and we determine that 9% of their receivables are expected to be uncollectible. And that's analyzing receivables explained in 3 minutes. Created using Powtoon.